Cutting-edge rainforest conservation technology is coming to researchers in Southeast Asia. These can remotely access and survey a forest, speeding up biodiversity assessments and gaining more in-depth insights. The National University of Singapore will develop up to three solutions mooted by the X-Prize Rainforest Competition. The focus is to see how best they can be used in the region's rainforests. We have adopted a science-based approach to conservation, working together with the community to ensure that biodiversity monitoring is conducted in a way that minimizes disruption to surrounding areas. We strive to reduce the need for researchers to physically enter forests when conducting surveys. Let's say you are restoring a forest or you are safeguarding a forest or you have converted uh, a plantation into uh, a rainforest. Um, it's also very interesting to chart using technology, right, year on year, um, how much biodiversity has grown. Yeah, so that, that's very important, um, you know, in these days where you're talking about red plus forests, you know, uh, conserving forests for carbon credits and all that stuff. Last year, semi-final teams demonstrated their solutions in Singapore's central catchment reserve, such as sensors to sample DNA from water and the air or using drones to scan the forest. Six finalists did the same in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. They will come back to Singapore to conduct workshops on these advanced technologies. NUS and XPRIZE hopes to scale these solutions and showcase findings at next year's UN Climate Change Conference in Brazil. The city and nature vision uh, that Singapore really leads by was perfectly aligned with that of the vision of XPRIZE and XPRIZE Rainforest. We immediately saw great uh, collaborations and Singapore not only agreed to host the semifinals in 2023, but established a national interagency task force and secretariat for XPRIZE Rainforest across many different ministries and agencies to bring this to life.